Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a solar charge controller from Elnex. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. All right, let's open it up. All right, there's a little card that says thank you and the user's manual for the solar charge controller. All right, and then you get the solar charge controller and some mounting screws. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. Uh, on the front, you can see that there are some light up displays right here. I think this is where you're, it will show that there is a solar panel connected, the battery connected, and it looks like a state of charge indicator right here. There's also an LCD screen and three buttons. Um, <clears throat> there is also this uh, rubberized area right here that says open. And when you open it, it w it's the area that you will tighten and loosen your wiring connections. Uh, it also says down here that it's IP43 rated. So this thing is for indoor use only. It can't be exposed to rain. Uh, down here at the bottom, it also says that it is a 100 slash 30 Apex 1224 volt. So what all that means is, well, Apex is the manufacturer. 100 means that it can accept up to 100 volts of solar and it can give out up to 30 amps of power to your battery. And down here, it can be connected to either a 12 volt battery or a 24 volt battery. So this charge controller is not for 36 or 48 volt battery systems. On the bottom, there are your connections for your solar panel, positive and negative, and then your connections for your battery, negative, positive. Now, keep in mind, these are reversed, so don't go red, black, red, black, or that will not be a correct configuration. Uh, right here, there is a spot for a temperature sensor and a spot for a remote. This solar charge controller did not come with a temp sensor or a remote. So I'm guessing those are purchased separately. There's also a spot right here for grounding the unit. And then on the back, you do have a nice sized metal heat sink. The unit is made out of plastic, but it feels pretty durable. And on the heat sink, you also have your mounting points right here. And another thing that's nice about this unit is that the user's manual is pretty comprehensive. So it's pretty easy to program it up. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this to a battery and turn it on to see what happens. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to a battery now. So let's see what the startup is. All right, after the startup, it looks like we have a flashing solar panel. So that is probably indicating that there is not one being found. And the battery is right there and it shows the battery voltage as 13.09. Now, if you look at the app, from my Red Odo battery I have connected, it actually shows 13.2. And if we open this up and connect a multimeter to it, we get 13.23. So this display might be off by up to a tenth of a volt. All right, I noticed that when I first connected it, um, it was set on auto and 12 volts, and it also shows an AGM at the bottom here as well. And I wanna to switch to that to lithium iron phosphate. So what you do is you hold this for three seconds and it starts flashing. First it says auto. The auto is it's going to automatically configure it for either 12 volts or 24 volts. So I wanna press this to go past that. And now it says AGM 14.4 volts and I want it to be on uh, lithium iron phosphate. So. There we go, LFP is lithium iron phosphate. There are, I think, up to like eight different settings that you can do, and there's also a custom setting, so you can manually change all of your numbers that you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it for the lithium iron phosphate setting. And then hit the little cog here, the right side button, and it saves it, and now all my settings are correct. All right, the next thing I wanna do is actually connect up a mock solar panel to this. Uh, I'm gonna be putting on uh, the settings for a 100 watt solar panel using my desktop uh, charger over here. It's going to be set for 19 volts at 5.29 amps, I believe. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up and then we're gonna turn it on. What I wanna find out is kind of the efficiency of this. If this is pumping out 100 watts, I wanna know what the battery is accepting uh, through the app. So let's go ahead and wire it up and turn it on. All right, I got it all wired up. <clears throat> let's go ahead and turn on the bench power supply and see what happens. All right, it looks like we got a green for solar panel and that the battery is charging. And this indicator shows that it's between 75 and 100%. The voltage is now 13.25. It looks like our benchtop power supply is giving 91.3 watts and the battery is accepting 84, well, at 84.4, let's just say that. All right, and it's been adjusted a little bit, but uh, the battery is now accepting 88 watts and the power supply is giving 96.8 two is what I wrote down. And if you divide those out, that's a 91.4% efficiency rate. Now let's see what else we can see on here. If we press the minus button, right now it shows 13.32 volts. That is what's going into the battery. You can see right here, 13.3. It looks like these numbers have really come together, which is really nice. So once you have a solar panel and battery connected, uh, the display, the voltage on the display is a lot more accurate. And it does show on the, on the top that it shows soft start, and now it's bulk charging. It's giving it 6.8 amps, and that's, what's, that's what the battery is receiving. And it's, it's counting up the amp hours that the battery received. And then it goes back to the voltage of the battery. If you click the plus side or the solar side, it shows you the voltage of the solar panel, the voltage that's coming in and it also shows the amperage that's coming in and it equates the amount of watts coming in from the solar panel. It also shows the number of watt hours coming in from the solar panel and then again it switches back to the voltage. So depending on wh whether you want to see the solar panel side or the battery side, you can select from these two buttons, which is really nice. All right, so if you have any questions about the Apex 100 by 30 solar charge controller from Elnex, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you wanna look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day. Bye-bye.